Morning, folks. Day soap is brought to us by Chisel Face. This one here is Santa Paula. It's got bitter orange and sage, and it does have a bit of a earthy smell to it, at least per my nose. <laughs> I do I do pick up the sage, just a little bit of the bitter orange, but that's my nose. Yours is probably going to pick up something quite different. And also going to go ahead and follow up with the uh, matching aftershave here. Razor today. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one here is above the tie SE1. It is outfitted with a Kai mild blade. This one here's got the bamboo handle as you can see there. It's a this one this razor here. I find it shaves quite different than the open comb. I like the open comb better. Um yeah, there's the blade there if you're wondering what kind of packaging it looks like. They've kind of changed some things over time, but anyway, that's uh, uh, what it looks like now, what I got today. <clears throat> I got it whipped up here with a uh, above the time badger knot brush here. And it's whipped up in a flat bottom wooden bowl. Found this one here at uh, TJ Maxx. Uh, paid, what was it? It's either $5.99 or $6.99. Inexpensive wooden bowl. Works out great. Lathers just fine. Already put a hot towel to the face this morning. And going to go ahead and get started with the pre-shave soap and today I'm going to be using the uh, uh, pre-shave Q from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This one here is the chocolate bourbon. Usually it comes out around February. You might be able to catch it then if you're interested in a cube that's this big. As you can tell, it's a, it's a bit smaller than what it was brand new. It's about maybe halfway. i um, been using it. It does last quite a while. It's, it, to me, it's well worth the money. It's kind of like an Allen block. It seems like it lasts forever. It only takes a moment to work it in. You can kind of tell it doesn't even take much to put on there and then it doesn't take much to lather it up. Work it into the skin and around the whiskers. Most people mention on various videos that uh, they notice the difference in between when they shave with it and when they shave without it. That there is a difference, at least most folks notice it. And it is, a, I guess you might say, an addition to the, to the shave. Makes it a, a little bit smoother. I find it that way too. This badger knot, I think, I can't remember what size it is. I think it's either 20 or 22, but it still blooms up quite well. Now this one here, this particular one that I got, I got it on sale right before the website shut down. The, um, this one here, it's got a few, uh, black <laughs> black hairs in there they're a bit pokey <laughs> kind of it was kind of surprising because usually you know you expect that with a boar knot not quite so much with a badger and this one here it's got a few hairs they're a bit pokey which is kind of odd that I notice it because typically even with the uh, one with that's a boar, I uh, don't really notice it all that much. And this one here I do, but the badger knot. Now I've been working with it off and on, trying to get it broke in, see if it'll soften up just a bit. But for the price I paid for it, I got it for a steal. Because the handle is metal, so you don't have to worry about anything deteriorating there anytime soon. Not quite, and I am, I do like wooden handles, and you know, but this one here, when they're they're metal, they seem like they last forever. Very smooth shave. I do like these above the tie single edge shavers. If you're looking for one, buy sell trade. It's going to be your best bet. And through my travels, when I spot check from time to time to see if I can find anything of the sort for sale, 
typically I don't find very many, if any at all. It's kind of sparsely populated when it comes to that sort of thing. I think most people have already settled in with these razors, whether they're one of their favorite razors or one they want to sell to try something different. The scent on this soap is still very much present even with my nose. I definitely can pick it up. I do find with this handle that uh, it does shave different than if you go ahead and pick up the Windsor handle, which is heavier. I prefer the weight versus the lightness. Some people like light razors. I just think to really gravitate to, I think it's probably because of my beard. Heavy beard, heavy weight razor seems to work better. At least for me. Yes, I definitely enjoy the, the heavy the handle. It adds more weight. That way it's more of the the weight of the razor, the sharpness of the blade does most of the work for you. For me, I never have been, it's less focus on the pressure, just enough to keep it on there to glide across the face, and it does a great job. That's the reason why I like that once it's got a little bit more weight behind it. I guess you might say less finesse. <laughs> At least per my note, definitely an earthy smell. That's what I pick up, that scent. Which my wife really likes the scent of the soap. And the aftershave, of course. When I first uh, tried this, I did it by the way of a sample. And uh, she really liked the sample. She wanted me to go ahead and get the full package, I guess you might say. One thing for sure, when I'm done with this shave, <laughs> I will be smooth. Should have mentioned at the beginning, I have two days worth of growth when I first started the shave. As you can kind of tell, this blade's a little bit wider than your typical injector blade or DE blade. So if you got more area to cover, it may make quicker work of it. For me, I don't find it an issue to work around my face. I don't shave underneath the nose, as you can tell. I haven't shaved underneath my nose in, I don't know, 30 years, maybe more. <laughs> it's been a good long moment. So I can't really speak to how it works under the, under the nose. But I know maneuvering around my facial hair and whatnot, I don't have a problem with it. If I was going to have an issue with it, and it take, may take more, uh, I guess you might say, effort, is to get used to only using part of the blade across the top lip there. I think it's still doable. It just may take a moment or two to get used to it. Yes, I still got my, I thought my Allen block got knocked on the floor, and uh, it landed on the rug, so it didn't break. It's Still all intact. <laughs> I do have an Allen block that I got on sale quite some time ago from Classic Shaving. And uh, that Allen block is like huge. In other words, you know the distance here, you know, well, it's quite a bit bigger. It's a, it's a huge Allen block. And I did find a rubber band. I think it's going to fit around it, but this Allen block, it's been knocked around so you can see fractures in it so I haven't unwrapped it just yet hopefully it'll stay together especially when I put the rubber band on it we'll see how that works <laughs> this is a Dickinson with a little bit of menthol added to it some sterling frost drops just really nice shade today temperatures have dropped at least with the heat index, we're down below 100. I think the high today is supposed to be 91.
still the menthol just feels great. Like I say, when I did this, I did uh, what half an ounce to the full was uh, 16 ounces here. And uh, it's enough to make it present, not over the top. Still feel just a light cooling effect. Um, I really like it. I like menthol. It works well for me. All right. This one here, yeah, it's definitely got alcohol. And it says witch hazel also. So that's, uh, for some people, that might be important to know. That it's got both of them, not just one. Just out of the container, to my nose, it does have a little bit different scent to it. But like any other aftershave, once you apply it to the skin, sometimes it, uh, and it starts to dry down. You might notice that it changes. Still smells really good. I like it. It's a, uh, it won't be a scent for everyone. Like I say, because it does have a little bit of an earthy scent to it. I can pick up the sage now, now that it's starting to dry down just a bit. Just, it, it, it's a nice setup. You just have to give it a try. Try a sample, see how it works out for you. Had a great shave today. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.